How's it, everybody? Welcome back to another super exciting episode of Extra Turns. Thanks, thanks, Murph. Yeah, I got you. I got <laughs> I'm you. here with Murph. Who, Murph, you actually directed this episode. Yeah, it was super fun. We had a lot of fun. Super epic, super exciting plays back and forth. Yeah, uh, lots of wild and crazy swings. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, yeah. But before we get into it, we need to talk about our sponsors. Channelfireball.com slash command. That is the place you want to go to pick up all your magic product, singles, anything at all. You know, Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty. It is officially out now. Oh, yeah. You know you want to get your hands on collector's boosters, boxes, draft boosters. Been drafting the heck out of this set. I don't know about everybody out there. Been loving it. Yeah. Set boosters, commander decks. All that sealed product is available on the Channel Fireball Marketplace for really, really good prices because all of the, the vendors on that site are businesses. They are LGSs. So they have access to very uh, good prices on sealed products. So you're going to get a good deal. Again, channelfireball.com slash command, or you can use the promo code command at checkout uh, to apply our affiliate. And that just lets them know that we're the ones that sent you. Yeah. And we also have to give a huge shout out to Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro makes the best stuff to protect your game pieces. We use it here at the command zone all the time for extra turns, for game nights, all the play mats that we use on the show, always Ultra Pro stuff, Ultra Pro sleep sleeves uh deck boxes they have the kamigawa neon dynasty themed stuff oh yeah, yeah. super if you sweet get, if you get like the chishiro deck they have the playmat the sleeves and the deck box yeah all, you know. everything's to be themed all together just theme outs your playmat deck box your entire battlefield with ultra pro product yeah they really do protect your game pieces like nobody else oh yeah and then of course the final way to support all of our content is directly if you go to patreon.com slash command zone patrons get all kinds of perks and lately we've been adding more perks uh -huh. for the patrons so you get to watch extra turns like this earlier than the general public game nights earlier than the general public you get access to our discord server at certain tiers where you can talk with us each and every day uh, a lot of our team members are on there not just jimmy and i but jimmy and i are on there all the time also we've started to do more exclusive content these are videos uh, and pieces of content that are only available to patrons we are not releasing them on our uh, our regular youtube channel so yeah, if you want to cool. join our community become part of our family support the content you enjoy patreon.com slash command zone we really appreciate that. Yeah, we really do. All right, Murph. Well, you're also in this game, which oh, yeah. I failed to mention. So Let's hope I do well. <laughs> I like how he's pretending to be nervous as if we shot this before the game. We definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Don't give anything away, Murph. Okay. Don't, yeah, okay. Wish me luck. All right. Good luck, Murph. Ashlyn here for another episode of Extra Turns, and today I'm playing Olivia Crimson Bride. This is a reanimator deck with a vampiric twist. I'm going to be looking to put powerful creatures in my graveyard, then summon them back with Olivia's attack trigger. Then, with my Rakdos reanimation engine going, I'll turn out enough value to bleed my opponents dry. What's up everyone, it's Murph, back with another spicy brew with Kelsian the Plague. This deck is all about picking off my opponent's creatures. So it's full of pesky pingers and plenty of removal. And the more kills Kelsian racks up, the more experience I'll get and the bigger he'll be. Then with everyone's boards emptied, I can send in my giant assassin to KO all my enemies. Hey everyone, it's Jake. And today I'm playing Kodama of the West Tree. Kodama gives my modified creatures trample. That's anything with counters, auras, or equipment. So my deck is full of powerful equipment and X-costed hydras that come out pre-modified and make the most of my mana. Then, with a giant army of tramplers at my command, all I have to do is send them in and stomp my opponents. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jordan Pridgen, and today I'll be playing Samut, Voice of Descent. Because Samut gives my creatures haste, I can take advantage of tap effects right away. Then, with Samut's ability, I can untap and do it again. That'll help me play out a bunch of very powerful creatures. Then all I need to do is pummel my opponents into dust. All right, here comes the bride, and she brought friends. It's trampling time. Haste makes waste of my opponents. Cower in fear, your assassin is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Let's yep. do it, let's go. go. All right, I will go first, so I will draw. I will play a Godless Shrine tapped, and I will pass to you, Ashlyn. All right, I will draw for turn. I will play a Baron more tapped and pass to you, Jordan. All right, I will draw for turn, and I'm going to play a Savannah and pass the turn. All right, <laughs> I will draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Forest, and then I'll tap one for a Boreal Druid. It is a 1-1, one, one, <laughs> tap for one generic. Nice. And I'll pass. Excellent, good Kelsian fodder. No! <laughs> I will untap, I will draw. I'll play a Temple of Silence, when I enter the battlefield, I will scry one. I think I like that card, so I'm gonna keep it on top. And then that's all I got. 
Pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw my card for the turn. Uh, I played Shizu's Death Storehouse and pass the turn. Nice. All right, at the end of your turn, Ashlyn, I am going to tap my Savannah and play an Enlightened Tutor and search my library for a Sylvan library. And I will put it on top of my deck. Sweet. And then on my turn, I will go to untap, upkeep, and draw. Um, and then I will play a Plains and a Sylvan library. No! What a surprise. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to untap and draw for turn. I'm going to play a Forest, and then I'm going to cast my commander, Kodama of the West Tree. Oh boy. And I'll pass turn. All right, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a mountain, and then I will cast Kelsian, the plague. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Yipes. And Kelsian has haste, so I can attack immediately. Uh, let's just go around the table. Ashlyn, I'm going to attack you for two. I like this direction around the table. Yeah, I'll take two now before it gets bigger. Okay, uh, before damage, I will activate Kelsian to deal one damage to Jake's Boreal Druid. All right, Boreal Druid's gonna die. That druid was a real boar. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and because the boreal druid died, Kelsian will trigger, and I will get an experience counter. Oh boy. So Ashlyn, you're actually going to be taking three. I have no blocks, so I will go down to 37. Very nice. And that's all I got. I'll pass the turn to you. Wow, Arch Enemy Murph already. I know, right? <laughs> Fine. All right, I will draw for turn. I will play a Luxury Suite, and then I will play Yahini Undying Partisan. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And Yahini has haste, so Murph, they're heading for Yahani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's fair. No blocks, I will take two damage, going to 38. All right, and that's my turn. Go ahead, Jordan. All right. Then I will untap, upkeep, and then draw and do the Sylvan Library thing where I actually get to look at three. Take them all. You know you want to. <laughs> yeah. What I'm actually going to do is, like a coward, just take one, put the other two on top of my deck. Boo. I'm going to play a Windswept Heath. Oh. That makes it a little better. And then I will crack the Windswept Heath to uh, search my deck, finding a plateau. I'll put that in the play, and I will lose a life, going to 39. And then, with my three lands on the battlefield, I will pay three and play Solvala. Explorer Return. Oh. Mm. I love that Solvala. Yes, it's very fun. It's lots of fun. Everybody gets to explore. Harley. <laughs> and uh, pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw. I'm going to play a forest, yep. and then I will go to combat. And Josh Murphy. Hi. Hmm. I'm coming at you for three. I suppose I've made some enemies here. Yes. I have no blocks. Uh, I will take three damage. And that's commander damage. All right, so then I'm gonna to go to my second main phase and I'm gonna play an incubation druid. Pretty good card. And then I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw. Well, continuing in my theme of going around the table, I will go to combat and Jordan, I will attack you with Kelsian. And what's Kelsian's size at the moment? Currently a 3-3, but can ping for one damage. Can ping for one damage, so that would kill Selvi. Yep, if you block. All right, I will take it. Okay, no effects. I will take three damage. Going down to 36. Don't play a Battlefield Forge as my land for turn, and I will play an Intrepid Hero. So you know don't what, play Mer big things. You know what? <laughs> and that is all I can do. I will pass the turn. Go ahead, Ashlyn. All right, I will untap my nice little board and draw for turn. I will play a Swamp, then I will play a Soul Ring. Nice. And then I'm gonna play Drana, Liberator of Malakir. That's a good one. And then I will move to combat and I'm gonna swing Yehini at you, Jake. I'm not gonna block with my rampy guy. So I will just take two. Yes. And I'll go to 38. All right, yeah, that's my turn. Go ahead, Jordan. All right, I will untap, I will upkeep, and then I will do the Sylvan Library draw. Oh, good stuff. Okay. Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, eight life, you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Treat yourself. Uh, you know what? I am gonna pay eight life. Yay! <laughs> because no one's killing me this game except me. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really scared. Um, all right, so I am going to play a Flooded Strand, and then I'm going to pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap and draw for turn. I will play my land for turn, which is a Gaius Cradle. That's not good. Oh, snap. So I'm going to tap five mana, because I'm going to play Nissa Who Shakes the World. That's <gasps> oh! fresh. Ooh. This a good. This a bad. Uh, she's gonna come in with five loyalty. So I'm going to immediately plus one Nissa, putting her to six to untap Gaia's cradle, and I'll put three counters on it. So now Gaia's cradle is a creature. That's really good. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna go to combat, mm -hmm. and Ashley, I'm gonna return the favor and swing at you with this Gaia's cradle. It's a three three with vigilance and haste. I do have a black mana open. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> I just want to do the thing that my commander wants me to do. 
<laughs> How about I let you hit me this turn, you let me hit you next turn? That's a deal. I will take three. I will go to 34. Since Guy's Cradle has three 1-1 one -one counters on it, it is a modified creature, so that's gonna trigger Kodama of the West Tree. So I'm gonna tutor for a basic land and put it on Battlefield Tapped. Sweet. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my remaining mana and cast Forgotten Ancient. Ooh, good card. Okay, well, I feel pretty good about where I stand. Oh so boy. I'm gonna pass the turn. Yes. All right, I will untap, draw for turn. I'll play Mountain. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just do what we can to fight the good fights. I'm going to play play Gideon Marshall Paragon. That is the intro deck Gideon. Interesting. Ooh. That's gonna trigger Forgotten Ancient, so it'll get a plus one plus one counter. So I will activate Kelsey and the Plague. No! To deal one damage to Jake's Incubation Druid. Oh, bother. Okay, yeah. it's got one damage marked on it. Can't do anything with the Intrepid Hero, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plus two Gideon. So I have all creatures I control, and they gain plus one plus one until end of turn. Kelsian is a 4 4 until end of turn. Uh oh. And then I will go to combats and I will attack Nissa for 4. So, notably, Jake, if I deal one more damage to the Incubation Druid, uh, Kelsian actually has two triggered abilities, so it'll get two experience counters, so I can pump it up to 6 if you don't block. So, I do not want to lose Nissa. I'm actually going to block with this Forgotten Agent. Okay. The 4 damage, I'm going to activate Kelsian to do one more damage to the Incubation Druid. Oh no. So, that'll kill it. Let's see, so Kelsian dealt one damage to the Incubation Druid twice, so I have two triggers to resolve, and I will get two experience counters. So Kelsian is now up to a 6-6. Six, six. So then your Forgotten Ancient dies. All right. And because two creatures died this turn, Yehini will get two counters. Well, hopefully I cleared the way so that you guys can take care of Nissa. So that's all I'll do. I'll pass the turn. All right. Let's untap here and see what we can do. Draw for turn. All right, well, I will move to combat and I will swing both Drana and Yehini at Nissa. Are you gonna sacrifice your commander to the cause of keeping Nissa alive, Jake? I love my commander, so I'm gonna let Nissa die. <laughs> Poor Nissa. All right, I will play Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Vito. Yes, and then I'll play uh, just a Mirren of the Moaning Well. All right, I will now pass the turn to you, Jordan. So at the end of Ashlyn's turn, mm -hmm. I think we've done too much fighting and not enough talking. Oh no. Oh, so yeah. it's time to parlay. Hey. So I will tap Savala, Explorer Returned, which means everyone is going to reveal the top card of their deck, and then each card that is not a land card, I get to make one green mana and gain a life. All right, so that is two non-land cards, so that means I get two green mana, and then everybody gets to draw their card. Yeah, Very nice. And I gain two life. Up to 30. So with my uh, two green that I have floating, I will also cast my commander. She's here. Sammy, the voice of descent. Rawr. Uh, mm -hmm. rawr. And then I will start my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Sylvan library, draw. <laughs> Jordan has so many cards. <laughs> cards in hand. <laughs> Some. <laughs> um, I will just take one, actually. All right, first things first. What do you have up blockers wise? Mark? I have a 1-1 one, one intrepid hero. All right, so I am going to just move to combat yep. and attack your Gideon with Samit. It is three, four, double strike. No blocks, Gideon takes six. All right, goes to one loyalty. And then I am going to play a Spire Garden, which comes into play untapped because I have two or more opponents. Thanks, y'all. You're welcome. And then I will pay three and play Mangora of Corridor. Don't like that. Oh, bother. Hello. So other creatures have haste because of Samut, so you can activate that whenever. I sure can, yeah. And you can untap it in response to its activation with yeah. Samut. Mm -hmm. And then I can tap it again. So you can exile two things. That's great. That's great. Good yeah. to know. I believe I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap and draw for turn. Okay, so Jordan, would you like to make a powerful ally? Uh, I mean, I always am interested in power brokering. Uh, if you don't mess with any of my board, yeah, I, I promise that none of it is going to come at you. I just want full shields up for a turn, and you don't mess with my stuff. I, I just, I can't give that sort of blanket statement. Are you sure? Like, even the stuff that comes afterward, I will not send it at you. Right now, my plan is not to hit you with this stuff, but I, I, I can't commit to anything. Okay, well, I'm going to play a land for turn. Then I'm going to tap three and cast Sword of Feast and Famine. Ooh. And I'm going to go to equip the Sword of Feast and Famine to Kodama. 
Are you sure you want to do that? Because I can blow something out of the sky with Intrepid Hero. All right, Murph. Well, I'm here to make a deal. <laughs> Jake wheeling and dealing. What can I do for my friends? Hmm. Murph, what's it going to take for you not to kill this thing today? <laughs> I mean, kind of a lot. You get okay. so much from it. What if it's not coming at you? That'd be nice, but I'd probably still kill it. What if I swing at Jordan? You know what, Jake? You're a swell guy. You can swing the house at Jordan, and I will not Intrepid Hero before combat damage is done. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing the guy's cradle at Ashland and Kodama at Jordan. All right, so that is a 5-5 five five coming at me, basically. Yeah, and if it connects, I untap all my lands. And I have to discard a card? That's right. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I will crack a flooded strand and find a planes. It will come into play untapped, and I will take one life. Going to 29. And then I am going to parlay. Ooh. Interesting. So everybody reveal the top card of your deck. All right. Red Elemental Blast. That seems pretty unhelpful, this game. Tireless Tracker. Animate, Dad. And Idyllic Tutor. So that makes me four green mana, and I will gain four life. Putting me at 33. And then we'll all draw those cards. Don't mind if I do. Everybody draw them cards. And then with one of the four green I have floating and this red, I'm going to play Ancient Grudge to destroy your sword. Oh. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Ancient Grudge will go to my graveyard. Then I still have three floating green mana, so I'm going to use one of them to flashback Ancient Grudge and hit your soul ring, Ashlyn. <laughs> That's there. <laughs> And Ancient Grudge is exiled, and then I will block Kodama of the West Tree with Samet, Voice of Descent. All right, well, uh, Kodama is going to die. And I'll send it to the command zone. I will not block Guy's Cradle, I will take three. And since Kodama died, Yehenny will get a counter. All right, well, this is all blown up in my face so far. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're the pair of goblins from You See a Pair of Goblins. We know we're going to be seen. So we want to look our best. Me, I like the bald look. Makes me seem tough. But I like me hair. I think it looks elegant. So when my locks started falling out, I signed up for Keeps, the simple stress-free way to stay ahead of hair loss. Oi, that's right. Just like you choose to charge and befriend us, you should have the choice to keep your hair or not. It was right easy to set up a virtual doctor consultation. Then medication showed up right at me cave door. I didn't even notice what with the discreet packaging. Plus, treatment started only 10 gold pieces a month. Or dollars, as you human folk be calling them. Thanks to Keeps, it's a new year, new air, new me. But remember, treatments take time to see results. So if you want to save your hair, start Keeps now. The choice is yours. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash extra to get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash extra to get your first month free. Again, that's keeps.com slash extra. All right, Josh, that's it for me. Pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to cast Ella Domri's Call. Hey, hey, it's me, Ella Domri. Who do you need me to call? Um... You want Crater Hoof? I can get you Crater Hoof. Palancron, say the word. I just switched to Mint Mobile and saved a bunch of dough on my phone bill so I can make all the calls I want. Okay, yeah, that's great. Can I get a... Unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network? You sure can. See, Mint Mobile is premium wireless, and their plans start at just 15 bucks a month. I even got to keep my same phone number and all my contacts. So when I call up Nick's Blue Mansion, he's all, I know that number. That's my old pal, Ella Domri. Well, I just need... A Mint Mobile, you get exactly what you need. Just customize your monthly data plan so you aren't shelling out for extra gigabytes you aren't going to use. Yeah, we know. Mint Mobile is awesome. But can you just get me a Thassa's Oracle already? I can, but I won't. Come on, Josh. We're just trying to have fun here. I think winning's fun. To get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash extra. That's mintmobile.com slash extra. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash extra. Hey, it's me, Devoted Druid. You know, the one from the Infinite Mana combos? Well, I... Oh, is, is that Vizier of Remedies? Hi. <laughs> Looks like it's time to pop off. Now, making a thousand mana can take a while. Luckily, I have my Raycon wireless earbuds to keep me entertained. With their eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life, I can zone out with my favorite tunes for as long as it takes to pay for your big X spell. And the sound quality is always infinitely awesome. Plus, my Raycons have optimized gel tips for the perfect fit, so they never fall out of my ears, even with all the tapping and untapping jostling me around. Speaking of which, done, 1,000 mana. 
But while you might pay a lot of mana with me, you won't pay a lot of money with Raycon. You can get their top tier audio quality at just half the price of other premium brands. And their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. So it's no wonder they have over 48,000 five-star reviews. You know, I actually made over 48,000 mana once, but it was cool. Gave me time to catch up on podcasts. Right now, fans of Extra Turns can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash extra. That's buyraycon.com slash extra to save 15% on Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash extra. That's all I can do, Murph. I'm going to pass to you. All right. I will unsaf. Draw for turn. So let's see. What is the plan here? What is the play? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to go to combat and attack Jordan with Kelsian. It is currently a 5-5. Five five. All right. Um, I, in response, am going to tap Mangara of Corindor, and I will target Kelsian. Okay. I mean, I guess I will activate Kelsian to attempt to deal a damage to Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tap a planes and tap salmon. Yep. To untap Mangara of Corindor. And then I will tap Mangara of Corindor. And I am going to target Intrepid Hero. All right. I guess in response to that target, I will activate Intrepid Hero to attempt to destroy the Yeheni. In response, I will sacrifice Vito to Yeheni to make them indestructible. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Because Kelsian marked the damage on it, I will get an experience counter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, and so now we just go down the stack. The Intrepid Hero and Mangara both get exiled. And then Kelsian and Mangara both get exiled, but Mangara's already exiled, so only Kelsian gets exiled. I'll return Kelsian to the command zone. Fun salmon trick. And then I'll just recast Kelsian. Kelsian is a 6-6 now. All right, with Kelsian on the stack, I am going to play Culligan's Command and deal two damage to Gideon. Bah humbug. And then I'll also have target player discard a card, and that will be me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. That's worrying. Well, that's silly. interesting. Okay. Gideon dies. And I will discard Mephedros Vampire. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, well, that entire turn just cleared out the board so much. I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think we've done everything we can. I will pass the turn. Cool. I will untap everything with so much angst and draw for turn. And uh, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing Drana at you, Murph, and Yehini at you, Jordan. No blocks for me. No blocks. Since Drana has first strike, she'll deal first. All right, I will take two. Go to 33. Because she dealt damage damage to a player, she will put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature. All right, I will take a beefy six damage, putting me to 27. Get punked, Jordan. Womp womp. Uh, and then I'll play a Smoldering Marsh, and then I'm gonna play Animate Dead on Jake's Incubation Druid. All right. Binky binky. All yours. Thank you. And yeah, that's my turn. Go ahead, Jordan. All right, I will untap Sylvan Library Trigger. I will look at the top three cards of my library. I'm gonna do something that might be fun. I'm gonna take all eight. There yes. we go, there we go. I'm down to 19, thanks Sylvan Library. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a Canopy Vista as my land for turn, and then I will parlay with Sylvala, uh, so everyone will reveal the top card of their deck. Okay. I will reveal an Eladomri's Call. Genesis Hydra. Temple of Malice. Mortuary Mire. All right, so that is two non-land cards, and so we all get to draw those cards, and I will make two green mana, and gain two life. The Savala is actually really helping against that Sylvan Library. Um, so I have two mana floating. I'm gonna take that two and pay a total of seven mana, leaving a Savannah open. And I'm going to play Turn Timber Symbiosis. Nice. Ooh. So I'm gonna look at the top seven cards in my library. I'm gonna put a creature card from among them into the battlefield. Oh, yikes. That's nutty. I'm gonna play the most fun card that I found amongst oh, them, no. which no. is the Tali Primal Storm. Oh, hey. no. Hey. That's pretty good. Oh boy. Resco on the bottom of my library. He's a madman. A madman. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move to combat. Yep. And I will attack Ashlyn with Sam at Voice of Descent. And I will attack Jake with Itali, Primal Storm. On attack, everybody reveals the top card of their deck. All right. Oh! Oh, that's an Ulamog. Oh, hello. And this is a cast. Oh no. Uh, so I will cast Capricopian for zero. There we go. Oh, oh it dies immediately. It dies! <laughs> Because it has no power and toughness. Yeah, he yes. sees that and gets a counter. Thank you. Oh, that's true. So I will cast a Volshock Sorcerer, which just seems like a grand old time. All right, so I will cast Valakut Awakening. Sounds good. And I will put two cards on the bottom of my library, and then I will draw three cards. Okay, and then I will cast Ulamog. 
He does say that. He does. <laughs> That's him. And uh, oh. then you don't want to make me sad, do you? I'm going to kill Two. Kelsian with Ulamog. Um. Okay. Fine. With the trigger on the stack, I'll activate Kelsian to kill the Volshock Sorcerer. All right. And I will activate the Volshock Sorcerer. Then I'll hit Murph. Nah. Fine. <laughs> this is the power of being silent. Volshock Sorcerer dies. I will get an experience counter. And then Kelsian will die, go back to the command zone. Kelsian, go goodbye. All right, and since two creatures died this turn, Yehini will get two counters. Uh, I'm not gonna block, so I'm gonna take six, and I will go to 32. I'm not gonna block either. I will take six, going to 25. All right. And that is six commander damage. Okie dokie. And then I will end my turn, and I have to discard two cards. Womp womp. So I'll discard Harmonize, and then I will discard a Sacred Foundry. So this is a problem. <laughs> yeah, this is scary. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Do your best, Jake. All right, so I'm going to start off by casting a Scoot Swarm. Ooh, and then I will play my land for turn. Oh god, here it goes. Which is a Forest. So I'll get a copy of Scoot Swarm since I have seven lands now. Tight. And then I will tap my Gaia's Cradle and three mana. So now I've got six mana and I'll cast Rishgar's Expertise. Hey. So I'm going to draw three cards. Not bad. And then I can cast a card with five or less for free. So I'm going to put out a Tireless Tracker. Nice. That's all I can do, Murph. I'm going to pass to you. All right. So I will untap and draw with a much sadder looking board. Okay. Um, I'm going to tap two and play a Knight of the White Orchid. And when that enters the battlefield, because Jake has more lands, than I do, I will go search my library, I'll find a planes and put it onto the battlefield untapped. You are so welcome. Thank you. That definitely doesn't do it. No, it doesn't do it. Nice. And then I'll play a land for turn, and then I will play Sun Titan! Sun, Sun Titan! 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 <laughs> uh, I gotta tap Battlefield Forge to do that, so I will take a damage. Go to 31. And then when Sun Titan enters the battlefields, I get a permanent card with converted mana cost three or less. Well, we get in. I'll return the Volshock Sorcerer, because that's the only thing that I can target. Oh. That's the best I could do to make a board. Uh, I'll pass the turn. Sorry, Ash. I couldn't Great. do anything about that. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will untap all of my stuff over here, and I will draw for the turn. All right, so I'm going to play my commander, Olivia Crimson Bride. Ba, 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 ba. Yay. We all agree that Jordan is scary. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to be shields down, swinging at Jordan. Can no one attack me? Yeah, I want to attack This next I might attack round. you. <laughs> I will not Jordan. attack you. I will not attack you next round. I'm going to have Drana and Olivia Crimson Bride attack you, Jordan. All right. When Olivia attacks, I get to bring a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield, tapped and attacking. And so I will target Mephidros Vampire. Okay, I am going to uh, pay one, and I will play Path to Exile, um, hitting uh, Drana. All right, in response, I will sacrifice Drana to Yeheni. Make it indestructible. All righty. And then I will take, uh, I believe, six damage? Yes. All right. Puts me down to 15. And then Mephidros Vampire will put a plus one, plus one counter on each attacking creature. Not bad. I will play a land for turn. It will be Mortuary Mire. Uh, and when it enters the battlefield, I can put target creature from my graveyard on top of my library. And I don't want to put anything on top. Okay. And that's all I can do. I will pass the turn to you, Jordan. All right. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. Three for Sylvan Library. I have to be a little more conservative with my uh, life total now, so I'm putting two on top. Okay. So I'm going to move to combat. Yep. And I am going to attack Murph with a Tali. Yuck. And I am going to attack Jake with Ulamog, and Samit will stay home being safe. All right, now that the trigger goes on the stack, so I'm going to sack two lands, the Scoot Swarm copy, and the Tireless Tracker. Okay. And I will not block the 10. And since two creatures died this turn, Yehini's going to get two more counters. Going to nine. All right, and then everybody reveal the top card of your library. Bounce in. All oh right. my god. I knew what mine was. It was Avison, Angel oh, of Hope. Oh, wow. dear. I am going to cast Avison, Angel of Hope. Yeah, yeah that's that actually. How dare you. And then I am also going to cast Belby's Portal. Um, when it enters play, I will uh, choose a creature type, which is uh, gonna be Angel. I still, I think for the plan I want to do, I can't use it right now. Let's go to blocks. Now that Atali has Indestructible, I will choose to not block. And I'm not blocking Ulamog, so I'll take 10 and go to 22. And I'll take 6. Go to 25. All right. Then, in my second main phase, I'm going to play my land for turn, which is a Stomping Grounds. I will pay 2. And I am going to pay 2 for an Illidomri's Call. 
Okay. Okay. To search my library for something that makes you go infinite? A creature. Oh. Okay, I will search for Sovala, Heart of the Wilds. You already have Sovala. Wow. You can't dig it. I'm Another going one. double Sovala. <laughs> okay, uh, so then I will pay um, three to play Sovala, Heart of the Wilds. Nice. This is bad. Here's what I'm gonna do uh, so we don't keep things uh, going too long. I am going to pay a green to tap Sovala and make 10 mana because Ulamog, the infinite gyre, is has 10 power. That checks out. And then with uh, three of that 10 mana, I will play Aggravated Assault. Sovala's so stupid. Yeah, <laughs> Sovala's nutty good. Um, so then I have uh, eight mana left. I'm gonna spend five of it, leaving three, to untap all creatures I control. And after this main phase, there's an additional combat phase, followed by an additional main phase that untaps all of my creatures. Oh, that untaps all your creatures? It does. So that lets you untap so, the Sovala multiple times. Yes, now I can use a little bit of the mana that's left to uh, untap Sovala again and pay for it. Uh, so, with Sovala and Aggravated Assault out, I can now activate Sovala, make more mana, do Aggravated Assault, untap Sovala, activate Sovala, make more mana, continue that to make effectively infinite mana, and just to drive everything home, I will play Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. I will play Archangel Avacyn to have a second Avacyn in play. <laughs> attack us! Game's and over. then I will attack infinite times with my army of indestructible creatures. Wait, wait, can I die first? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Ulamog crushed me in its tendril. Jordan wins! Yay! Victory. The end. All right, Woo-hoo! congratulations, Jordan. Well done. Infinite combat steps. I hear that's good. Yeah, it's usually pretty good. It's just not quite as fun when you're on the receiving end of it, which I was, unfortunately. But, <laughs> but as the director of the show, you have to be um, happy for that exciting ending. It was. It was super cool. <laughs> a really fun game. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. Before you go, big shout out to our sponsors, channelfireball.com slash command. That's the place to go to get all of your magic products, singles, anything at all. If you want to order any of the cool singles from Kamigawa and Neon Dynasty, you want to maybe you want to build Tatsuna or Tameshi or one of these really cool new legendary creatures or Kodama like in this episode there you go channelfireball.com slash command is the place to go to get all of those singles you can also get the sealed products you can definitely get your hands on all that new stuff we've also got Streets of New Capenna right around the yep. corner Channel Fireballs Marketplace does allow you to pre-order stuff that's not a pre-order yet but it will be soon so it's just a place to keep going back to and checking because they have great prices great service they get you stuff super fast uh, and again you can use the code command at checkout if you forget to put in the URL which I always do yeah and once again huge thank you to Ultra Pro we've said it a bunch of times but we'll say it again their stuff is awesome it looks sweet looks super cool protects your game pieces they got the cool game dice the awesome wall scrolls yeah you can definitely make uh, your battlefield look great and the room you're in look great because ultra pro kind of has you covered in all those aspects so yeah yeah they are the game accessories company that we trust here at the command zone jimmy and i have all of our own personal decks and eclipse sleeves you know we can't give it sleeves yeah we can't give it higher praise than that so thanks everybody who supports our sponsors who's part of our patreon who watches all of our episodes we really do appreciate you all out there and uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode uh, Murph, before we go, I just want to say, better luck next time. You know, yeah. You'll get him next time. I'll get him next time. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank thanks you. everybody for watching. Bye.